Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. This is just a real quick intro to my round or front nine at Bayonet at Puppy Creek Golf Club in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, just while editing this, I realized I did not do an intro. So I thought I'd just do a voiceover until we get to the part where I come in. So first hole is a par five, dog leg right. Didn't hit a good tee shot, literally just got out of my car checked in and then went to the first tee and sorry about this could not find a flat lie and camera fell over so i do apologize about that um didn't hit well you guys didn't miss, didn't miss much there so now i got my third shot here still got about 180 yards and this is actually the last clip that i filmed before i started doing or doing my on-course commentary so sorry about this once again and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. All right, sorry about that, guys. Had to get ahead of a group uh, behind me. So, not the greatest opening hole so far. Probably got about 45 yards to the pin. I'm gonna take in a 50, 58 degree wedge and try to put it close. Alright, so not a great start there. Once again, sorry about no commentary for the first couple shots. Uh, had to get ahead of a group behind me. And yeah, anyway, onto the second hole. Par 4, 425 yards, slight dog leg left. You can see the green right there. So I'm going to take a driver right at that 150 stake with a little draw and try to put one out there and play. Uh, so like I said in the intro, this is my first time playing this course and I did not realize how downhill that was off the tee. Um, we are in play though, just off the cart path. Got probably about 125 yards into this pin. It's gonna be taking either 50 or 54 degree wedge and just trying to throw it left of that pin and try to make a birdie. All right, so that kind of that really kind of sucked right there. Um, kind of like with the second shot, just hit that tree and kind of died. Um, hit a good third shot and really got unlucky with the putt. But still early, we got a lot of time left. Onto the third hole, 170 yard par three. Gonna be taking probably a soft uh, seven iron, a little right of that pin. Let the wind bring it back and let's see if we can get a birdie or at worst par.
Uh, I did pull that one just a little bit, but uh, got on the green. Wasn't the best contact, but still on the green. Got a chance to birdie, probably about a 30 footer up this hill and see if we can roll one in. All right, so not a bad par there. Um, hopefully it gets us on the correct track for the rest of the round. Uh, now onto the fourth hole. Par four, 420 yards. That's the pin right there, that little red spot. There is a creek out there though, at about 340. Don't think I can reach it, so I'm gonna be hitting a driver. Just try to blast it out there and get ourselves in good position. Uh, pretty good drive there. Uh, I got lucky I didn't go any further left because did not realize it slopes off down there. Did catch just, did barely just catch the edge of the fairway though. Probably got about 100 yards. That flag looks to be a little bit more in the middle. So we're going to be taking a 54 degree and just try to put it close. Uh, so good birdie there on the third hardest hole. Really kind of gets the momentum going. Uh, now onto the fifth hole, par five, 530 yards. And this hole looks very similar to holes up in Pinehurst, which is really cool because you compare it to some of the other holes and it's quite different. So there is a creek up the right. Looks like we're gonna try to keep this one a little more up the left center, kind of splitting that cart and the 150 stake right there. So here we go, we're gonna send it with the driver. So unfortunately, um, not the drive we wanted. Still got a long ways in, about 270. So we are gonna be trying to rip a three wood and just see where this ends up. We're gonna try to put it as close as we can. All right, so got a little unlucky there. I think I clipped this last tree, but I mean, it hit a really good three wood. Probably got about 30 yards to the pin. So we're gonna have to find a way to get a stance there and try to put it close.
All right, so really good birdie there. That's a tough par five, but probably my favorite hole so far on this course. Really does remind me a lot of Pinehurst in those courses, but yeah, I really liked it. Um, now into the sixth hole. Par four, this is a beast, 465. Not much out there. Um, looks like it does narrow a little bit on the right, but it's gonna be trying to rip a driver out there. Let's see how far we can hit it and try to set ourselves up for another good hole. Alright, nice drive there, just a little right of the fairway. Um, got about 120-ish yards into a front pin. Slightly downwind, it's probably not going to affect it too much. I'm going to be taking a 54 degree wedge and trying to throw it just right of this pin. And we'll try to put it close and see if we can go uh, three in a row. All right, so honestly not a bad part there at all. That's a tough hole and hit a good second shot. Just that was good time to spin it off that uphill lie. And yeah, it, I didn't hit a bad shot in that hole, so I'm not too upset with it. Now onto the seventh hole, 415 yard par four. Dog leg right, you can't see the fairway, but I'm gonna be taking it just left of that tallish pine tree right there. Try to put something in play and see if we can play this whole well. So bad. I uh, really messed up that tee shot there. I mean, just absolutely hit it terribly. Um, got about 180, and we're trying to hit a 7 iron, kind of hit a low cut around these trees, and try to get something close to the green. Uh, so I hit a pretty good shot there, sliced it around, or kind of faded around those trees, didn't quite slice like I wanted it to. But for me, I'll take that shot because I do not like hitting low cuts. So, got about 30 feet, let's try to roll it in for birdie. Okay, so that was a little bit unfortunate there. Um, that's gonna happen though at times. Um, of course, it is really wet, so they haven't been able to mow the greens. Um, it's been pouring rain for like the last two and a half days, so they haven't got a chance to mow the greens, which makes sense, so they're a little bumpy. I'm not saying that putt missed because of a bump, it was just a bad stroke, but anyway, moving on to the eighth hole. 
par four, and this hole is a beast. 474 into the wind, dog leg left. Just gonna be trying to rip something out there and try to get it in play and see what we can do from there. I uh, hit a pretty good drive there, a um, little up the right hand side, so definitely have a little bit longer of a shot than I would like. I have a hundred, or about 200 yards, roughly playing about 190. I have taken a six iron, I'm really trying to put this one anywhere on the screen and try to get out here with two putts. Uh, fortunately, I did just misjudge this distance a little bit. Still not a bad shot. Only got about 10 or 12 yards. So go bump this up there with a 58 and try to get up and down for par. Uh, good par there. Um, that was a really nice up and down. After not a bad second shot, just misjudged the yardage. Um, now on to the ninth hole. Par 385 yards to the center. Pin it up. I'm going to be playing it like 180. Um, so that'll be a full 7 iron. And we're going to be taking it just right of that pin, kind of even with the right edge of that back bunker, and try to draw one in there and put it close. Alright, so here's my shot. Pretty good. Pin high, just a little right. Might have actually gotten a little unlucky that that ball plugged. And if you remember me saying the greens are a little soft, yeah, that ball is perfectly plugged. I did hit a second one there as well. And just a little note of advice for you guys. If you're not playing alone, you're not holding anyone up, definitely hit extra shots. Um, that first shot wasn't bad. I just didn't really like the swing. Just didn't feel right, so I hit a second one and definitely was a better swing. So, definitely recommend if you guys are ever playing by yourself and not holding one up, definitely hit a couple extra shots. It'll help improve your game real quickly. So, anyway, back to the shot. I got about probably 20 feet. See if you can roll it in for birdie. Right, so that'll do it for the front nine. Thank you guys for watching. Um, just to recap, shot one over par. Really cool front nine. Now, I'll be off to the back nine. You guys will see that in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.